Well, welcome back everybody to our online program for uh, August 2011 for the alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center up here in Powell River, BC. And we're talking this month about meaning and purpose. What else? Mainly because at the Sunshine Coast Health Center, uh, as you recall, that we define addiction basically in terms of the great psychiatrist Viktor Frankl, who said addicts get in, succumb to addiction as a response to living a life that really doesn't fill them up, doesn't make them feel vital or alive. And last week we talked about, well, we reminded you about this, uh, this issue of uh, addicts live a meaningless, monotonous and boring life. And this week we'll talk about another problem that people face and that is they may not feel there's an answer, but when they go searching for an answer, they find out, holy mackerel, there are answers everywhere. <clears throat> yeah, Google how to find meaning and purpose in your life. You'll be amazed at what comes up. Just page after page of people who are going to give you the answer. So in a very real sense, not only is there a problem that we're all facing with uh, this lack of general lack of meaning and purpose, but when we start looking for the answer, there's like, any number of answers and how do you know what's right? I mean your answer may be uh, well I think meaning and purpose is to go help the poor and maybe I think my meaning and purpose is to take advantage of anyone I can and steal all their money. Well <clears throat> we can't both be right I mean someone's got to be right and someone's got to be wrong or actually we can both be wrong to be honest with you. So how do you find out if you turn to Wayne Dyer Right, he'll give you one answer. Turn to Tony Robbins, you get another answer. And there's a, if you Google how to find meaning in life, you'll run into this guy, David uh, Seaman, I believe his name is. And David Seaman uh, tells us that, sort of uh, when he was under undergraduate in university, uh, he had to write an essay. In a fit of desperation, he Googled into some chat room, uh, <clears throat> what is the meaning of life? And apparently got like 5,000 hits on this and 2,000 answers. And it's fascinating to read some of this stuff. But a lot of what it boils down to is it seems that everybody has his or her own answer to this question. And that's actually a pretty important piece to the puzzle. For some people in recovery, for example, they find Alcoholics Anonymous or Narcotics Anonymous or Cocaine Anonymous or any of those 12-step programs and they find that this provides them with a solution. Right? For others, for whatever reason, they don't resonate well with uh, the message from the 12-step program, but they find it in another place. And still others will obviously find a different place, like people did recover before 1939 and they found their own way. And of course we've talked in the online program before about uh, Eugene O'Neill, the great Nobel Prize winner who was also a card-carrying addict, and he found his unique answer to that problem. So everyone's finding different answers, so what do you do, right? Well, one of the things that you can do is sort of check them out. Yeah, try Alcoholics Anonymous and see if it works for you. And give it enough time, right? Because it's not like a one-shot deal, right? And if it's not resonating with you, maybe you can find it somewhere else in some other answer. But it's really quite a fascinating thing, this, this idea of so many different answers. And one of the things that we find with some of the clients here, for example, is that <clears throat> they get into this habit of looking outside themselves for a solution. And as you know, one of the keys that we've discovered from uh, our research is that the answer actually has to come inside. So whatever you find, it's gonna have to resonate inside of you. And if it doesn't, then odds are overwhelming. It's just not gonna work. So at any rate, uh, it's an interesting little thing that a lot of uh, psychologists have picked up on. Instead of being like there's no meaning, maybe there's too many meanings. And then people get all wrapped up in these different ones, which are very often conflicting and tripping over themselves. And then they lose hope. But one of the keys is always to make sure that whatever it is that you choose, uh, that it resonates with you, that you, you feel that this is the right way for you. Anyway, we'll be back uh, next week uh, with some more uh, observations on this whole meaning and purpose stuff.